Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today we are going to be going ahead and continuing with our quest to get all of the shrines completed. We're getting closer and closer, but we're doing something else as well. You might be noticing that it's been a couple weeks since my last episode of Breath of the Wild, and that's for two reasons. One, it's that time of year where a ton of games come out, and I've been trying to keep up with everything. We've been having so much fun with some brand new games, but also I've decided to take the time to go ahead and get most of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild amiibos, and I'm gonna be showcasing one off per episode, hopefully. That'll be the goal. So uh, today we have ourselves the Link Rider Amiibo. So this is Link on a horse, who I'd have to assume is a Pona. And what we have to do to scan an Amiibo, apparently, from what I understand, is go to Options. No, no, not that. Um, Options, use Amiibo. The game is compatible with Amiibo. Would you like to enable Amiibo functionality? You can now use the Amiibo rune with the Sheikah Slate. You can change the setting in the Options menu at any time. Okay, so we just, oh, look at that. And then we just, what? Okay, use Amiibo. Touch the Amiibo in the NFC component. Did that work? Hey, that just gives us free stuff. Oh, that's so cool. So that was the Amiibo with Link riding the horse. I'll probably include a picture of it in the thumbnail or something. That's very cool. So throughout the next couple of episodes, we'll be checking out all sorts of different Amiibo goodies. And I think that, I don't know if we can use this more than once. We'll have to try it. I'm a little curious. But we'll get a Royal Broadsword, a 60 damage Royal Broadsword with attack up plus 24. That's really good. So we could definitely exchange a weapon for that. Like we have some 54s. Um, I probably have a more in the middle one. I actually don't. Hmm, let's take a, a more deeper look at my inventory. But yeah, that's super awesome. I'm glad I was able to try that. I, I don't, eh. I don't know what I should get rid of here. I'm honestly leaning towards getting rid of the Savage Lionel Spear because it's just, I don't know, it's not the stuff with damage, but I guess I should get one of these just gone. Um, I don't have anybody to toss it at, so I'm just gonna toss it over there for now. This is why I wish I had another weapon slot, but maybe at one point. <laughs> All right, a 60 damage roll broadsword is insane though. So yeah, I wanna try it one more time and see what ends up happening. Um, I don't plan on like constantly using these to cheat. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the uh, thing. So let me try scanning it again. This amiibo can't be used again today. So I'm gonna guess it's gonna take another 24 hours to use it again. I don't plan on using that to just easily get myself through the game, but since a lot of you have been asking me, yes, you wanna see me showcase the um, amiibos, I wanted to do that. So there are a couple of different places we need to find different uh, shrines at. I do have to double check where they are though, because I don't have the map up right now. Okay, so from what I see, there's only a couple left. There's one, two, three, four, five left. We know of one of them. It's this yellow marker here uh, by the Twin Peaks. I don't know really what that one is, so we'll have to find that one out together. And then there's another one by the Farron Sea. Specifically, if I zoom in, it looks like it's at the base of whatever this is. It looks like it might be a big tree trunk or something. We'll make that the red marker. Um, and then we have some stuff near Hyrule Castle. And then they'll also that one where I have to wait for a blood moon, which was going to be difficult for sure. But I'm not worrying about that one for right now. I just gotta wait for a blood moon. And then the Hyrule Castle one. So we'll try to get up to the face of Hyrule Castle today and work from there. So with this one, we'll do the blue. And then over here, we will do this one. So. How is this gonna work with showing off each amiibo? Obviously, um, if we're only gonna go and finish the game soon, I might worry about that and then showcase more amiibo and adventure with those and sort of see what ends up going on. Um, so there might be some content we con we cover after the uh, main story is completed. I wanted to keep that to a minimum. I want to I want to reach as much content as I possibly currently can, you know, without having to worry about it. About, but be we'll worry about the final boss. I explained that awfully. Basically. I want to do as much as I can before the final boss, before going to the final boss, and seeing how I have to go and get different types of armor. I still need to go and explore Hyrule Castle. There's still lots more to do, so hopefully throughout the next couple episodes I can check out some of the amiibo in the meantime, and that will be a lot of fun. So now we have Kaomaka Shrine, which is something we've already done. We're just using this to get from one place to the other. So, um, yeah, we're trying to get to the red one. Red one is this way. I feel like we've gone this way before. So it's weird that I haven't found this, but hopefully we'll find it here. So I wanna use this Ravali's Gale during the daytime, because I wanna use it up so that it starts restoring, so that hopefully by the nighttime, we have another one, because I'm gonna have to use it whenever there's the next Blood Moon, which there's been a while now since the last Blood Moon, so it's been a little bit concerning. We'll be trying our best today and see when it ends up going on. I mean, it's probably inevitable that there's some content that will have to be taking care of after we defeat Ganon, just because I don't want full episodes where we're sort of wandering around doing unspecific things, you know? So I'm trying to find a balance, because a lot of people say they want me to complete this game, and I definitely want to because of that, and I'm just trying to find the best balance for it. 
Okay, go ahead and toss that down there. And explode some of this stuff. And I probably could have just used a hammer because I think I have one. Yes, I do. Okay, should probably use that then. I mean, I know it wastes a weapon slot, but you know, this stuff goes flying when you break it this way. So that's not always worth it. But I think we're getting closer. I think it's like on the ridge of the ocean, the beach is what they usually call it. Uh, so we'll try to get there. Yeah, on this weird looking rock right over there, I think. And there really isn't much else around this area. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say desolate. It's very green and lush and there seems to be enemies over this way. But when it comes to actual things to do, there is an interesting lack. I mean, I guess there's Lavera Beach here, but that's where the enemies are. So like, really not much. But anyways, regardless, we are gonna go ahead and Whoa, oh, it's one of these. Actually, it doesn't look so bad. Is that somebody defending? No, no, that's a person. Hey, what's up? So smooth and ancient. Your skin is so smooth and gorgeous, my little Roscoe. Hmm? Someone's watching us. Oh, my sweet Roscoe, you're so shy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Why not proudly show off your beaming beauty, my darling? You really must come out of your shell. Hmm, the person watching looks like he wants something. Maybe he's after, <gasps> is he after you? Don't worry, my sweet Roscoe. I would never, ever, ever let you go. I'm head over heels for my special friend who's been around since ancient times. You're so ancient the, the, and special, Roscoe. Yes, you are. Sorry, my sweet Roscoe, but I fibbed a little. But the truth is, I want to see guardians. Flying ones, small ones, ones that walk around. I want to see all the guardians in the, all of the world. Not the ones around here that have rusted away either. I want to see fresh and lively guardians go to Hyrule Castle. Uh, if I ever do get to see them, I may just have to leave you, my friend. <laughs> but oh, but don't you worry. Getting near a guardian is too dangerous for me. Flying ones, small ones, ones that talk. I'm afraid that guardians like that is nothing more than a dream within a dream for me. Do I have to give you a picture? Guardian slideshow. Maybe. Loon, lover of all things ancient can't bear to part with her precious orb, Roscoe. Although, if you could somehow show her images of the three types of guardians, she may change her tune. Figure out some way to safely show her what the different guardians look like. The three include small guardians, flying guardians, and guardians that walk around. Well, we already know that we have pictures of the main guardians and the flying guardians. My sweet Roscoe, don't you worry, my special friend, I would never ever let you go unless, of course, yeah, um, I can see a flying guardian and a small one that walks around. You mean how I have pictures of both of those? What are you talking about? Let me take a look, because I'm almost positive I have photos of both of those. Uh, creatures. It would be around here, right? Uh, I I'm sure they'll be all near each other. Okay, well there's creatures, then there's monsters. Okay, we fight monster monsters, we don't fight creatures. So yeah, we have this which is the Guardian Stalker. We have the Guardian the, the guardian Sky Watcher. And then we have like smaller ones, like this one. This one's the Guardian Scout, Decayed Guardian. So I guess there might be different kinds of Guardians. We might have to photograph and then come back. Oh, okay. So I might try to find an official list of what we want to uh, photograph, just so I know for sure. So I'm gonna actually look that up real fast because that one could be extensively problematic if not. So apparently there are different kinds of guardians that go around on the ground. There aren't just guardian stalkers. So you know what? Let's start making our way to a different shrine, um, one near Hyrule Castle, because that way we can go ahead and get some guardians photographed that we might need to photograph. And beyond that, we'll also be able to uh, get to this next shrine. And hopefully by the end of today's episode, we'll have enough pictures of everything to properly photograph and, and get, um, and get what's it called, uh, that other shrine. So lots of work here, that's for sure. But I do wanna ask you guys what your thoughts on today's amiibo was, the rider link. I think it looked pretty cool. It's interesting because the horse is sort of the average size of an amiibo. Because of that, link on top is super tiny compared to your average amiibo, and it's really funny. It is impressive how many details they got into it with it being so small, but Hey, I think it's pretty cool. The rewards itself, they're okay. I mean, they gave us a really powerful sword, which is nice. Um, you don't get that from everything, of course. So obviously that's a Guardian Stalker, which we already should have a photo of, but I will double, extra, triple check. And also like this. This should just be, and she wants a live ones anyways. But I will take a look at this. Apparently I've not. Guardian Skywatcher. Pretty sure I have, but I will save this just in case. 
replace pictures. It's a better picture anyways. Um, so there's Guardian Skywatchers over here. We have a Guardian Stalker, which I already have a photo of if you see. So I'll actually replace it, because this one's alive, which might be what I need to do. See, so yeah, this might be a little bit difficult, but, and we'll be, we're gonna be making our way into that castle so probably sometime next episode with how this has been going. That'll be awesome. But where can we find a non-guardian? Like, apparently there are guardian scouts that are smaller. I don't know if you've actually ever run into those, so I might have to look up a guide to find them, because those are the only ones I'm missing. But I guess in the meantime, I can make my way over to the blue shrine, and I should be fine from here. I don't think any of them are gonna bump into me just yet. Oh, am I found? No, I guess that was the uh, vibrate. I, I felt the vibration, I guess it was for the shrine nearby. So we'll head right on over to this one, and we'll work from there. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I got most of the amiibos. I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get every single one of them, but I think I got one more Link amiibo, a Zelda amiibo, all the, uh, what are they called? The uh, hero amiibos, or whatever, the four guys, of course, that protect, or use the four guardians. And then finally, I got the guardian, okay, yeah, there's a guardian amiibo, and then the four guys, you know, Daruk, Mifa, those people. Forget their names, or their terminology. But I, I've gotten those ones, and that's really cool. I'm really excited to open those all up and showcase what they do. So, in the meantime, let's get up this way and find out where the shrine is. It's supposed to just be around here. I don't know if this one requires a shrine quest or if it's just sort of tucked under or something. Seems like it's likely tucked under or something. But right now, I'm a little clueless on that. It could be under something as in like a cave. But apparently it's just right here. Okay, what's going on? Oh, little Geo dudes. <laughs> I've never actually made that connection before. Uh, I was gonna just call them Geode dudes, but then I realized I said Geo dudes like the Pokemon. And then I laughed. I I'm sure you know because you were there for it. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and try to pick up everything I just exploded. Oh, we got some roasted bass. That's good. We got some ores in the water. This is a really strong current but I'm still not getting too many clues on how to get into this rock. I definitely need to circle around the whole thing, if possible. Try to find out where the shrine really actually is. Can I damage this bridge? I don't think so, but you know what I should do while I have the chance as well? Oh, rupees. I should do this. I mean, I don't have any arrows. Oh, that's something else I need to do soon. Okay. What? That's gonna be tough. I can't do that right now. I don't have Revali's Gale. Maybe later then. Maybe after I'm done getting the shrine, I'll have enough for it, and hopefully I remember. See, I don't really see anything yet. Ooh, what is this? Ah, there it is. So first Revali's first things Gale. first. Oh, there's Ravali's Gale. Can I blow that open? There goes my bow. Not the end of the world, though. I should have more. I do. Not too many. I definitely need to find a way to get some more. Oh, and that's burning it all. Ooh, very good. That's lagging the game out. Oh, I still have more time to get over there than I thought. Okay, that made it way easier. <laughs> One bomb arrow and we're done. Still have 21 left. So let's go ahead and go into here. Ooh, more explosives. Uh, But I don't really need to explode it, so I'm gonna leave it be. I'm just grab some of this stuff. Oh, did that break it? That broke it. Oh well, I got a blue rupee out of it. So let's just go ahead. Oh, but there's more. I need to get it. Yeah, let's use this. hi yeah. That got me an arrow. Totally worth it, I'm so low on arrows right now. And then this is another couple arrows and another couple apples. Very good, so we're gonna go ahead and examine this and see what ends up happening as we head on in. I, I forget what shrine this is, I didn't really see what it said. First shrine of the day, it took me a while. Definitely not in a fast pacing today. Ancient walls, shrine walls are too slick to grab or climb. You must find alternate ways to reach new heights such as ladders or other creative solutions, we know. Okay, so, a minor test in strength. Okay, well, the test in strength ones, you know, they might be a bit tough in times. They're not brain racking, especially when it's a minor one. I gotta make sure I take a photo of him. So I should already have the photo thing out, unless I put it away, which I might, may have. Um, just take a photo of him, just to be sure it's not one of the ones I do need to take a photo of. It might be, so. Uh, yep, I already got a photo of him. Okay, buddy, hold on now. Don't need a photo of you, but you know what I do need to do is beat you up. So I might as well use my free weapon, right? You know, I got the 60 damage thing. Might as well just slice and dice him with it. I don't know if he'll actually end up going full forward with that slice. I guess he doesn't. All right, one arrow. That's all I need. Mm. 
perfect. Very nice, so let's bring out our camera again. Ooh, Ancient Battle Ox, I don't have a photo of this one. That's good. And we get a treasure chest, as always, so let's get to it. Ancient Battle Ox, boom. Probably not gonna be very high on the damage department because it's not a plus plus, yep. But hey, a new weapon photographed, that's always super important. I guess that's some things I have to do is photograph everything. I mean, if we really want to, I'm close enough for it. Might as well continue onward. Okay, so for this one, we get the Royal Shield, totally worth it, but our inventory is full. 68 protection, that was insane. So we definitely gotta go for it. Um, What do I wanna drop? I guess I should just drop this. My best bet. Sorry there, Mr. Shield. I didn't want to have to, but I had to. So there we go, there is a shrine completed so far. Took a lot of hard work, but we did it. And how many orbs do we have right now? I'm not even sure. I, I just like, it's been a couple weeks since I last played, so I'm, I'm a little rusty on just about everything. But it looks like this is spirit orb number eight. Hey, look at that, so I should be able to get two hearts if I wanted to, and I think that's what I want to do, so probably move forward with that super soon. But in the meantime, uh, stealth tip, it's harder to hear footsteps when it's raining, making it the perfect time to sneak up on some monsters. Um, We'll have to look into our next one. Which there is one in, or at least near Hyrule. I don't know if it's behind it. I wanna leave that one be for now if I can. I feel like my next best bet is probably to go buy some arrows with some of the uh, rupees we have. But if I could find out, I guess I should look at that now. Because we're looking for what's called a guardian scout. Apparently, on the Great Plateau, which is this, right? Does it actually tell me Central Hyrule, Gerudo? Not really, I'm pretty sure not this. But isn't this the Great Plateau? Yes, there is an Omen Ao Shrine, one of these. Omen Ao Shrine. And enter to take a picture of the Guardian Scout Small Guardians. Oh! So the Small Guardians that you can find in there, because we've pictured some of them but not all of them. So we'll just go into the shrine because it, it has some of them. So we'll just do that real fast, take pictures of them, and hopefully that'll be enough to count because we've gotten everything else. I mean, if it says, or might it could have just been that I didn't have proper pictures of things that were alive, because that's something she really specifically specified. It's like, oh, and I need them to be you know, living. They can't be beat down like this one. So I think that that's really what she's looking for. So we'll have to try to keep that in mind, make her happy so that she can give us the orb but the thing is, is that technically she could look at the pictures and still not give us the orb. But we'll try this, just make extra sure that these things are photographed and then we don't have to worry about it. Um, I thought that maybe there was like a like a smaller guardian that walks around on the ground that I just haven't noticed that there was a difference and maybe they move quick, more quickly but they don't attack as much. Not the case, there's only one type of guardian on the ground outside in main Hyrule. Okay, so yeah, this is Magnesis. Oh, I totally forgot about all this. Man, this is like a trip down memory lane. So what are we supposed to be doing here? Actually, I don't know. Um, do I just activate this? No, it just wants me to do that, and I can go under. Okay, yeah. I totally forget like all of this, so it's so cool to be reliving it in a way. And we gotta move this, thank you. And then there's gonna be a guy on this side. I totally remember. Look at that, okay. Guardian Scout. And do I already have a photo of that or no? Oh, I guess that was my first one for the because it would have offered me to redo the picture. Okay, cool, glad I got you, don't hit me. <laughs> so we're gonna move all the way back over here to open adventure log, or wait, can I not teleport from inside of here? Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have a teleport spot there, so I have to foot it back. That's fine though, because we got what we needed, and that's great. And then probably after this, I mean, I wanna make my way closer to Hyrule, so what I'll do is I'll sort of chip away at it, I think, and just do the outside sector of Hyrule, because it should be all fresh guardians that I haven't tackled in a while. And I do need their monster pieces for a number of different things. I mean, their, I guess their gear, for a number of different pieces of gear for me. So that would be great to work on. And apparently the guardian amiibo has a chance of giving that kind of gear as well. So that would be awesome too. But for now, all we're doing is we're just rushing this way. We're gonna see what ends up working out for us. Hmm. But yeah, so far so good today. I mean, it hasn't been the speediest amount of progress, but it has been progress, which is really the most I can ask for. Okay, going up and gliding. Ooh, that brought us really, really up. That's nice. Okay, so ready, climb, and we're good. That was super easy. Oh, hello, sir. Wait, do I have a photo of you? Of course I do. Um, 
And I do have the duplex bow, don't I need that? Oh no, I need the, the thing from the big guy. I need the air thing. Cause I still haven't completed that side quest, have I? The weapon connoisseur, the, the rural guards gear, rural recipe, gotcha. I haven't done the weapon connoisseur. I still need the air sword. So the next time a big guy attacks, I gotta remember that. Totally forgot, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I don't think I've ran into a big guy yet since then. But yeah, good to keep in mind. So, let us quickly move this way. And it is getting night. So before we move forward, I do wanna take a look because it really should be getting close to being a blood moon. And I don't wanna miss out on that. So I might like save now. Cause you always wanna save before the night because we need to be standing on that one platform on the other side of the map when the blood moon happens. If we do it after, it won't count. So we'd have to wait for another blood moon. That'd be a big pain in the butt. So saving before it really becomes nighttime, probably gonna be something I need to start habitualizing. But for night, right now, doesn't look like it's gonna be tonight. Okay, so uh, hey. How are you doing? So smooth and ancient, my sweet Roscoe. Don't you worry, my special friend. I would never ever let you go on us. Blah 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 blah. I'll show them to you. <laughs> You're funny. Hmm. Someone speaking. You'll show me a guardian. Hey, you. Could you please not bother my my Roscoe and me? Here you go, Guardian Skywatcher. It's not like you can show me a guardian or anything. Yes, we can. That image. That's a flying guardian. Wow. I feel alive with terror just from gazing at that image. A small guardian, Oh, it looks like a, a, so vicious for its tiny size, it's adorable. Hold on, if you've been able to show me two types, then that must mean, yep. A walking guardian, I can't believe it. Nothing could be more dangerous. What an exhilaratingly scary sight. Phew, what a joy. Hey you, give me that box, okay? I wanna look at these images every single day. I can't do that. You can't? I see, how unfortunate. I guess I'll just have to burn those images into my imagination. Can I have that orb? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, you mean Roscoe? Sure, that weird spear thing is all yours. Really, I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about guardians now. If I close my eyes, I see them in my imagination. It's glorious. All right, sure, we'll take this. All right, guardian slideshow. Very cool. So I'm glad we were able to get that done. And now we'll just plop this into here. I wonder what we'll get, if this'll be an easy cash-in kind of one, like a, a blessing or not. I don't think it will, I think it'll be an actual shrine. Hey, it might be another test of strength. Would actually sort of make sense for this one. I mean, it's clear that we still have some guardian or scout guardians left the image or picture or something. Luckily, they do restore with Blood Moon, so it should be fine to eventually get them all. But hey, here we go. So let's head on into this, the guardian slideshow complete, and with it, we get access to this shrine, which is the Sidka Tone shrine or something, we'll find out. We'll have a second chance of reading that after this, exam. Okay, I don't know what was happening. It seemed like the, the screen shook a little bit as if maybe there was a blood moon happening. I don't think there was, but once again, if it does happen, I just reload my save and I wait and then we can cash this in. But for now, I can do this. So, a modest test of strength, Shoka Tatone shrine, Shoka Tatone, gotcha. Oh my, so a modest, it's not like an extreme, just a modest. All right, well let's go for me, it's two weapons. And I'm pretty sure you photographed this one, but you can, it's never safe to be sorry. Yeah, it's a Scout 3, don't you dare shoot at me, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna beat you up with my new fancy weapon, it's so cool. All right, let me switch over to something else like this. Oh, that didn't do much to you at all. For a modest, this is, I don't know if that's modest, you know? Okay, ow, hold on. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting you with the Royal Halberd. That's a cool shield. I've never seen it in the triangular like that, have I? Will you drop that or will it just be sort of like normal size? Maybe it changes sizes depending on, oh, oh, Flurry Rush. Oh, this is good. Flurry Rush is super good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got him less than halfway now, which is nice. And then keep going at him. Don't stop now. It looks like he's healing when we hit him like this. It's weird. Like you can actually see his health going up in a weird way. Okay, he's gonna start spinning or something. So I need to do this quick. Come on, he's almost down. Yeah, there we go. No, look at that. It's just a triangular shape for this one. I don't know if I photographed that before. So there we go, we get a treasure chest for that. Very, very good indeed. Can't carry any more shields. Guardian Shield Plus. I have not photographed this. Very interesting. So I don't need it because, like, I mean, defense-wise, it's not that great. Is it better than this? It's not. So I'll just leave it be. 
and then over this way, Guardian Spear Plus, which we've already photographed. I guess I'll take it, because I have the slots for it, but it's not really that worth it. I'm just gonna chuck it at somebody to stun them. And I don't see any chests around here, so I think we are good to go and see what's inside of this chest. And then we'll get our ninth orb. I was gonna check to see how many we have, but then I remembered. Hooray! So there we go, we get another Royal Broadsword, 36, so I'm already throwing this away. Aya. Okay, so good progress so far. But yeah, be sure to let me know which uh, amiibo you want me to check out next out of this selection I already mentioned. Because I'm pretty sure I got a Zelda one. Almost positive. I, I, you know what? One I didn't mention. I also got the Boca Blin one. So I'll have to check all those out super soon. Hmm. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin. Good. Let's subvert that prophecy of ruin. Okie doke. May the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. And off he goes. <laughs> I'm so glad that uh, we're making progress with this. We're only, what, two shrines away now? Isn't that insane? Two shrines away in the main game. Yeah, we're 117. I mean, as far as I understand, maybe three. I can't tell on this map, it's just a whole mess. But maybe there's three. Well, yeah, Um, we just got that one done. And then there's, oh yeah, okay. There is three more remaining. So there's one last one. It's over this way with the yellow marker. Um, this one's weird to me because it's right next to the other Dueling Peaks ones, but I think it's actually down below. I, I don't really know where this one is, so I gotta find it. I don't know if it requires a shrine quest, so I might check that now. Uh, right over here. No, no requirement for this one. So I, I've just done a bad job at finding it. I think it's actually on the floor between the two peaks and maybe I've even found it and just passed it up for some reason because it feels like something I would have done at the beginning of the series when I was a total dingus about everything forever. Not much has changed, to be honest with you. But uh, <laughs> I try, I try my best. Very cold up here, but we won't be up here for long. But yeah, it won't blink as hard as it's supposed to because I'm not actually facing the correct way. but it's somewhere around here. Oh yeah, it's just right here. Look at how easy that is. So we'll go ahead and get this one. Can't believe how long this one's been eluding me. I have, I must have passed this at some point. I just went, meh, I'm not in the mood. Read a he shrine. Let's go on in. Let's see what's going on in this one. I'm guessing this will be like a proper shrine, which will be cool, because this might be one of our last proper shrines, because the next one, is the Blood Moon one, which will just take a long time logistically. So right now, after this shrine, I plan on getting some busy work done. Um, building up some materials a bit more. That would be good. Okay, what do we got? The timing is critical. Read a he shrine. Ooh, gotcha. So obviously this part's pretty simple. Just roll it into there. But, that unlocks the pathway, and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to let go of that at certain times, the button, to really get to where I'm trying to go. Okay, is it just gonna move back? It is. I think I need to snag this ball. I'm gonna try that. See if it'll let me. And then, yeah, where is this one? It's gonna go like this, and then I let go of it. Yeah, I gotta sort of use its momentum to my advantage, but not too much so. Then it turns around, and we're good. And then the platform I'm standing on should Bring me over there. So I guess having these isn't too helpful. I'm sure you could actually. It would be really difficult and unfeasible, but if I wanted to cheat this, I could just put this down, use the time freezing on it, knock it over there and try to land it. Like I said, chances of doing that are infinitesimal, but it's possible. Hey, I think that's actually what it wants me to do here. Whoa, nice little spin there on it. Cool, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and bring it with me, and then I can use that to leave it on the button like this, you like just drop it, perfect. No, 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 hold on. I think it can hold this button down. No, 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 that's baloney, <laughs> come on. I think I know what to do. I don't know if it's really, truly possible. Excuse me, why did it roll off? It's not over here anymore either. No, they're gone. Dang it, I think that's what I'm supposed to do though. I mean, maybe not, but no, I'm pretty sure that's what we gotta do. Well, remember that I can just kinetically freeze a button, right? I can. So what I need to do is go like this and then go for it. And then I just gotta run. Come on, quickly. 
Hmm. Go, 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 go. Yeah, okay, so I didn't, I was gonna freeze the ball on the button, but I guess I don't need to do that. Climber's bandana, nice. I've been looking for this. I am so excited. That's actually another piece of thing finished. I was not expecting that at all. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. Thank goodness we finally got that. So we can check out the climbing gear as well. Very cool. So equip that, and then moving on through. Uh, well, actually, let me just organize it like that. There we go. And look at that, completed climbing gear. That's yet another set of stuff done. That makes me so excited. Oh, we were supposed to use the barrels, weren't we? Yeah, I think so. We were just supposed to put the barrels on the button. Luckily, I didn't need to do that. I found my own fancy solution. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our 10th orb now. That is so exciting for, for real this time, because we're now we're two shrines away from completing all 120 shrines. Super Mario 64, you've got nothing on us. <laughs> okay, beautiful stuff, which means in total we'll be able to have 12 orbs out of this and then we'll be able to spend all those. I think for right now though, since I, I'm either A, waiting for a Blood Moon, or B, going into Hyrule Castle, because I'm pretty sure that's not behind Hyrule Castle, it's in Hyrule Castle, we'll find out. But for now, my goal is to go and earn up some arrows, like I said, do some busy work stuff. So it is nighttime. It doesn't look like a blood moon to me. So what I'm gonna do is quickly save, cause you know, we got all that done. It was fantastic. And then we're gonna go ahead and teleport all the way over to the da Dahesho Shrine and work on some stuff from here. This, this should be pretty fine to work with. Uh, I wanna buy more arrows. I probably wanna upgrade my stuff. I don't know what I wanna upgrade because I do wanna get ancient gear. So it wouldn't be too smart to, uh, you know, boost up my Royal Knight gear just now, because if I do get the ancient gear, I wanna boost that stuff up, because that'll probably give me the highest likelihood of surviving, as far as I understand. Um, See, so yeah, I wanna get that stuff eventually. It might be stuff I try to get soon. Is there Royal gear? Right now, Da Hesho Shrine. And let's check it out. Uh, well, actually, I, I don't know. I don't need to go to the ferry just yet, but what I do wanna do is buy arrows, as much as I can from them, and then the next couple days, I'll probably come back and do more. I'm sure that these guardians that are normally over this way are available again if I wanted to fight them. I don't know if I want to. But for right now, we're just gonna glide on down this way and see what we run into. Hmm. There they are. Hi, guys. And I could actually cash in some orbs here too, I think. So I probably wanna buy a little bit more of everything, but what I need the most of, of course, is the normal arrows. So I got that, 175 rupees is no problem. I already have 45, I have 30, I have 117. I don't think I need more than that. I think it would be unfeasible. Or it would, it would just like, wouldn't be worth my while. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray. We'll go and get two more hearts. Our container. Basically, I'm just trying to just boost up my health as much as I possibly can for the big battle. So let's do it. Our container. We look so funny in our gear though. I love it, but it looks funny for sure. And then we get our millionth heart. What is that, like our 20th heart or something? It's really hard to tell. Um, it appears you still uh, or possess spirit orbs. Yep, gonna get another heart container. Yeah, for real though, how much is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right there. And then, it's 25, that's our 26th heart right there. Huh, all right, not bad. Unless I miscounted, which I might have miscounted, but I'm pretty sure that was our 26th heart, and I lose them all the time. Okay, so one thing I wanna do is to get a good bearing on how much more I have to go for the ancient gear. Let's go to the ancient tech lab and start talking and find out what we can get. Because I have a good couple thousand rupees right now. Obviously, I'm not like totally loaded. I'm gonna need a lot more cash to get most of the gear, but if I can start getting it now, that's just sort of a good step forward. But yeah, this is mostly what we'll be focused on until we beat the game, so that'll be very cool. Man, oh man, I'm excited to complete more shrines out. At this point though, like, I don't really know the best way to get the Blood Moon, cause I feel like I've done a lot for it not to show up. I mean, maybe it just won't, cause it knows I'm waiting for it. It's like that, like this is definitely a normal moon, but it's almost morning. I wanna just, you know, say that I could just sleep and wake up over and over again, but I've heard people say that doesn't work. Anyways, let's go ahead and figure this out. Hey, hey, beep, familiar name missing. So yeah, if we wanna take a look, 
I probably wanna start with the gear because I have indefinite room for it and we have plenty of money for it. So we could actually get all this, the ancient helm, ancient curious, ancient greaves. And I think we'd be able to afford all three of it. Let's try it, let's find out. Ancient helm, exchange for an ancient helm, make exchange, because it, it does cost 2,000 rupees. Exchanging, beep beep, exchanging, beep beep. Results available, bleep. Insert materials, okay, so I just made that, right? Thanks for your time, come again, blop. Well, your name is saying. Wait, what? Okay, I did get it, ancient helm. This headgear is the result, okay, so we'll read through all that soon enough. Hello, this is Familiar name missing, welcome. Um, so let's keep going down and get the ancient curious. Exchange for ancient curious, make exchange. Exchange, beep beep. Exchanging, beep beep. Uh, results available, beep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this one. It doesn't really show you that you got it, but you do get it. And then we got, of course, the ancient greaves, which it seems like we have enough for. All right, very cool. So I wanna get this other stuff, the ancient bow, the ancient spear. It might take a little bit more work to get those. Like we have enough stuff for each one of them. I don't have enough rupees though. So like ancient shield 70, 40 for that, 55 for the blade saw. Man, some awesome, awesome stuff there. Thanks for your time, come again, blop. Familiar name or something. But that's the stuff I really wanted. It doesn't give too much right now, but we got the ancient helm. This headgear is a result of Robbie's research. It uses guardian parts to decrease damage from ancient energy attacks. The armor was, uh, this is the Ancient Curious. The armor was created by Ancient Sheikah Technology using Guardian parts. Equipping it will reduce the damage you take from Ancient Weaponry. And then finally, uh, we have Ancient Greaves. Robbie engineered these Greaves at the Research Institute using the same technology found in Guardian Automata. They reduce damage from Ancient Weaponry. And as you can see, that completes this set. We look very interesting, I like it. Um, so we'll probably keep with that for now. And I won't really get too much more because I'm also a little low on slots. Um, and if I take a look, like how many how many seeds do I have right now? Uh, I think I needed like 35. So if I could find five more Quark seeds in today's episode, that would also be good. I don't know if the chances are of that, but that would give me another weapon slot, which would be appreciated. But hey, things are going really, really well for us if we're able to get all the ancient gear. It looks so cool too. Um, so yeah. Hmm, I also need to remark this on my map. I know this is where I need to go, is about here. So we'll just have to get over there. And once again, we have to unequip everything we have before the blood moon starts for that. So it gets real scary, actually being able to do that or not. I wanna break some of this stuff. I probably wanna prep food as well. Okay, yeah, what do I have food-wise right now? Um, Cause I think I have some stuff, it looks like it. Also, let me organize that. Um. I have some stuff, but not actually some major restoration stuff that I would ra rather have, so if I go and try to find some places to uh, cook some food, that might be my next best step. So uh, probably should head home then, because I think by our house in Terrytown, not in Terrytown, in Atino Village, we should be able to get something good going on, which is way over here. So uh, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and make some food. Okay, so let's get to cooking. I definitely just need to make stuff that'll give me, um, no, 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 that's not what I want. I wanna just make stuff that'll give me a lot of food. So like hearty durians of fruit mighty odor. Like yeah, um, temporarily increase your maximum heart. So I wanna be able to really stretch this out as well. So make sure I only use like two at a time and then mix that with stuff like apples. Cause we have a lot of apples. Don't really need too much more. I just use them for cooking anyways. So there's that done. And that'll be plus eight. So I really don't need to do too much more than that. Like we'll do that again. And see how that works. Actually, I used one less apple there. I hope that doesn't reduce it. No, it's still plus eight. Full recovery still two. So I could probably just do two and then one of these. I wanna keep one of each, of course, as much as I possibly can. And that is plus eight again. Still full recovery. Very good. So let's go ahead and do apples. And then like obviously this will increase our heart recovery when used as an ingredient. I don't think that would really combo too well, as far as I understand. But we do have stuff like hearty truffles. So we could do this and get some extra health that way. And that's always a great combo. As you can see, plus three. It's, it's not as effective, but it's still good. So I could do something like that. I could do two of them, and then maybe raw prime meat would be good. I do need to cash in that raw gourmet meat. That's 14, and I think they sell for 100 rupees each. So that's 1,400 rupees is sitting there. Um, and that gives plus two. So that's you know one extra heart per truffle. So I could do like four of them. I don't know if that's entirely necessary, but it's something I could do, as you can see. And that's plus four. But uh, we'll keep at that for right now. I'll do four more. 
and then we'll do one more raw prime meat. And then we'll probably do three and then two of apples or something. That should be good. But then we'll have a lot of health recovery, which is nice. And is having some extra hearts, you know, just make it as good as possible. The thing is, is if I have however many hearts I do, will it go any more than a golden hearts? Like, will, will I actually be able to have more than four golden hearts right now? I think I can find out by reorganizing this, first of all. Like, that's plus three, this is plus four. Where's my plus eight? No! Ooh, okay, no taken. That actually isn't worth doing then. See, like, this plus eight only gives me plus four because two rows of hearts is max health. So I do not want to do that. I do not want to get anything more than plus four. Um, so, good to keep in mind. I don't know how many hearts hardy radishes give. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in and see how much one hardy radish gives. Plus three, so you don't want any more than that, for sure. So we'll make a couple of these for sure. Just like that. Very interesting though. Good to keep in mind that just having more than that, it just isn't worth it for our level of hearts. But that's also a good thing, you know? That means that we're very high in health and that means that we can eat normal food and restore ourselves quite high. So I'm gonna do that one more time, and then I don't really think I need to do it too much more. Like, we have a lot of food th at that point. You know, if by the time I get to the castle, I'm like, wow, I'm really low on food, then maybe I wanna come back. But at that point, I'll have um, destroyed a lot of stuff, so I'll have to wait for another Blood Moon to happen for it to be, pro be a problem again. We do have one big hearty truffle. I don't even need it. Probably wanna do some stuff like an Iron Shroom, try to mix that together and see if we can't get ourselves like some high defense would be good. And there we go. Extra defense for three and a half minutes. Then I probably just wanna go ahead and do four of them and go like this and see how that works. Cause that should make me very defense defensive for three and a half minutes, that sounds good. I think I'm gonna make a couple more of those. Maybe I'll make it with meat actually. Try that out. Cause I don't know what, you know, the castle has in store for me in that way. I'm just trying to make sure that we have proper things. Cause like this stuff, upping my defense, mix that in with some fruit as well. See what we get there. That's 250. Okay, not as good, but you know, good to keep in mind. Increase my movement speed sounds fun, but uh, I don't know how much I need it. We'll just do this. Nice and simple. Plus two minute, or plus movement speed for two minutes is fun. I mean, that's what, don't we have like a quick shroom? Endura shroom, sun shroom, zap shroom, rush shroom. Um, increases your movement speed. Cook it before eating. So we can do like two of those. Probably should be doing this more often just because you know, it makes us run fast, which is enjoyable. <laughs> If not anything else, it's fun. And add a bunch of apples to see if that helps at all. Probably not. There we go, three minutes there. So that was pretty good. I know, of course, we've cashed in a lot of mushrooms. That makes us more stealthy. I probably, do we have any bananas? We do. I probably wanna do a lot of banana food so we can do some extra damage that way. That's just plus one damage though. Let's try to add four bananas and one apple. And what is that? That's plus three damage for three and a half minutes. That's what that is, very good. So let's try that again. I'll probably just leave it at that for now. I mean, I could make one more. All right, plus three damage again. And then do that. Very good. And then, I don't know what we should head out and do next. I mean, there's lots of stuff. Like I said, we could try to get those four Korok seeds so that we could get an extra weapon slot. Like, I feel like that'd be a very good idea. Um, But we'll have to wait and see. Like. I could look up some Korok seeds I just like haven't gotten and just sort of do a couple of them. If I could do five of them, like that really wouldn't be too difficult to do, I don't think. So let's try for that. Let me pull up Korok seeds. Oh my gosh, I just did that on the map and it just like, boom, a million of them just pop up on my screen. Um, so I'm gonna try to find where we are at Tino Village and see what ones are, might be near that I haven't done. I always get so lost. Um, See, there should actually be one right at the bottom of this river, right here. So we'll try for that one now. And I'm not gonna get like every Korok seed before we beat the game. That's actually one of the few things I don't plan on doing. And Korok seed. Um, just because I wanna make sure that we just gotta get what we gotta get, which is mostly just an extra weapon slot. Um, and then beyond that, if I take a look at the map again, where is another one that'd be feasible to get? Apparently on this tree, and then another one on this tree. 
<laughs> huh, okay. And then where are those other pins at right now? I don't need the yellow pin anymore, that's for sure. So let me go ahead and trash that one and try to find out another Korok seed location. Because if I zoom in a lot, you can actually see where you have and have not gotten Korok seeds. Like apparently there is one somewhere in the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Huh. Don't know much about that one. We'll look around for it. I will make a marker here. And we'll work from there. There's three more. I've already gotten one, so that's a pretty good start. So let's get back up there and see what we can do. <laughs> and if we can get five of those, that'll really put us ahead for getting that extra weapon slot. If it's still 35, which I'm almost positive it is, I don't think we've gotten that 35 one yet. But our stamina store, actually, let's also show off our new gear. Cause I feel like that's sort of a big, you know, gain that we got in today's episode is that we got this gear. I'm so happy about getting it. It's right here, here you go. And it just makes us climb so much faster. It's like, oh, it's great. I mean, I think it does. It feels like it to me. Oh, it feels like way more accessible, yeah. We're going for the blue one at the moment. That should be easy enough, right? If we've ever run into another um, Sheikah guy, or whatever they're called, that would be great if he could give us the air sword so we could give it to this kid. I'm still looking to do that. It's just not easy when the game never gives me the right guy at the right time. Because I had some of those and then they broke and then I found out what he needed. And that was a total shame. Oh, frog. It'd be, it'd be so much easier if all I had to do was show him photos of it. Because then I was like, I would have had this quest on a long time ago. So somewhere in this tree, probably just like a rock on the top of it. Uh, or not. Hmm. What about this tree is peculiar? It might be getting this lit up, which if that's the case, that's actually quite difficult. Let me climb back up to the top. Because usually these aren't that difficult, but it may be. Let me check out the the red one too, because if that's the case, I might take a skip on these, because it would take a while to do. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad if I had a torch. If a torch is up here, that'll be pretty easy. There's no torch up here to be seen. Oh great, Um, I mean a stick would work too. Let's try for a stick. Knock that stuff down. Is there a branch? Not quite a branch. This is my weakest two-handed, so I might as well just use this to try to get a branch or two. I'm pretty sure that's the idea though. So I'm gonna keep looking and see if I can't find a branch somewhere. So far, no. <laughs> Come on now, got some wood. And what about this tree? This tree won't drop apples, so maybe it'll give it a higher chance of dropping some other stuff. Which way will it fall? Like that, very good. That's a Korok leaf. Not what I'm looking for, but thanks. Where in the world could there be a torch? Because if I could just, or a stick, I mean. Because I can't get a torch around here if there's just not one available. But sticks are a different story, and I'm pretty sure they light up just like torches do. Yes, tree branch. So I need to drop something, unfortunately. I might have to drop a 36 damage weapon. When it's, you know, like that's pretty good, but I'm gonna toss it up there so that hopefully I can remember to grab it again or at least just run across it. Like, oh look, this weapon I found on the floor. That I totally forgot I dropped. And somewhere around here, that's for sure. <laughs> if I turn on the, uh, the metal magnet mode, I'll be able to find it. There we go, so that works, awesome. So let's see if we light up that torch, if anything will happen. I'm pretty sure that's what we gotta do because I didn't see anything else going on with that tree but I might be totally wrong. So let's try lighting this one up. And nothing. Ooh, what do we do then? It was definitely on this tree. Am I just blind? Is it something super obvious that I just haven't seen? Cause it's not like a rock on top of this. I can kind of climb up a branch a little bit more. What in the world is with that one? Okay, so I just double checked my mini map. There isn't a Korok seed there. I swear it said there was, but apparently no, there's a Korok seed here. <laughs> well, silly me. I just wasted a bunch of time. That's fine, that's fine. We had a good time trying it out. So for this one, this is such a nice area. I, I gotta say like, it's really cool that you can have your house at Tino because it's probably the best area. This is probably where I'm gonna have to get a torch as you can see, but I'm gonna climb to the tippity top of it to make sure that's not the case. Cause I'd rather, you know, just, if this is easier. Yes, okay, it's just this. Awesome, give me that Korok seed, that'll be 32 or 31, 32. 
Got it. Okay, so next one is over this way. It's either red or yellow. It's gonna be the red one. And I'm definitely sure this is the correct one. <laughs> it isn't some ridiculous thing. Okay, so it is sort of stormy, but it's not Blood Moon. I really wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this one's like in the middle of the water. Oh, this area is so nice. I just, I love it so much. I wish the entire game could be like this. I mean, I do like everything about the location of this game. I just really like the nice, calm, grassy areas like this. I'm glad our character can live here. Link. Okay, keep climbing. Oh, this climbing gear is amazing. And it's just another rock on top of another tree. We're sliding off because of the moss. No, no, what are you doing? Pick up the rock, dude. Pick it up. Got it, good job. So that's 33. Yeah. I found you. Okay, so um, where is the next one? The next one, yeah, that's right, it's at the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Let's just quickly travel to there and see what we can do about it. And then after that, I don't know which one we'll go for next. I'll have to look around and find out. But um, for right now, we'll just start with this one. And then that'll be 34, and then we can get a 35th one somewhere. So yeah, I don't know what exactly could be around here. I mean, I don't know if I should start climbing up it or anything, or if there might be anything around nearby. But I really don't see anything of peculiar interest on the outside. I've never found a Korok seed on the inside, so I feel like if it's like right, oh wait, this is not the right ladder. <laughs> Oopsies, isn't there a way up? I swear that there was. Oh yeah, right over here. Um, Then I think what it, no, not what I was looking for. There's there's definitely a way to climb this building. Oh, it's the stairs here. It might be at the top of this, because I don't think we've ever seen a Korok seed indoors. So let's just take a look at all the, the everything else. Maybe it's at like the very top? Could be. Whoa, there's a guardian on top of this thing? How do they do that? I don't know, but the rest, no! <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. What? Oh my gosh, that was weird. Go back up, go back up. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, so um, there's more papers over here, just strewn about, because this is where she keeps her notes, right? We've read through all of those. I'm trying to just get up there, if at all possible. It's a little awkward, to say the least. Maybe if I were to, can I climb up this stuff? Not really. Okay, fine, I didn't want to have to, or volley scale. Oh, look at that. There was totally something up there. Come on, I just wanna land right here. Perfect, perfect. Hold on. Yeah, there we go, Korok scene number 34. So, I just have to sort of see what's nearby, because I know there's another Korok scene nearby, but it might be something we've already found. But once we find one more, we'll be good. So yes, I have found that one right over there. But then there's another one somewhere around on this mountain. I thought like that'd be a total pain to find. But maybe not. I think it. I think what it's trying to tell me is it starts here and then moves its way over. So I'm gonna try for that. I can't use Ravali's Gale for it because I need to save that for the thing. Because you never know when that Blood Moon's gonna show up. So speaking of which, let's save now. I feel like that'll be a good idea. Because it's midday. That way it gives us plenty of time to prepare for potential Blood Moonage. We gotta climb up this mountain. Though. It's gonna get cold, so I'll probably change my gear now as well. So to the cold gear, which is right here. Gotcha, okay. Hmm. So yeah, we already jumped into that one and got a Korok seed. So for right now, we're just trying to climb this mountain around. And I guess on the top of this, I'm pretty sure this is where the Korok seed ends, or begins. Oh, that was weird looking. I saw the bottom side of this, of this, Rush room, and I thought it was like, I don't know, like a weird frog or something. I don't know what I saw there. That was bizarre. Yeah, I'm glad I got this gear on because it's very, very cold around this these parts. See, so somewhere on the top of this, oh, and it's raining, that's gonna make it way more difficult to do what we need to do. But it's about to end anyway, so. Yeah, right here, okay, good. Oh, this way. Oh, hey, enemies. Oh, and I have to go right by them, don't I? Great. Okay, we'll freeze you and just go for you like this for a little bit. Did that, did that, did I, that wolf, wolf just fall when he tried to climb up to me? That's hilarious. You know what? Have a branch. Uh, that missed. 
But you're an ice guy. I thought you were a fire guy. I mean, not a fire guy, but a, a silver guy. Guess not. Um, I don't really need anything you have, but I will slice you away. Well, I mean, if you if you actually drop monster parts, I could gladly take that. That's another thing I want to do in today's episode, monster parts. Try to, by the end of today's episode, go find the, the skull and bones and get that done. Okay, so we just gotta keep following this up this mountainside. I think we're getting there. And another one. And another one. And yeah, we made it. Okay, very, very cool. No, no, that's not it. Okay, I thought that was the last one. This is the last one, very cool. So that's 35, let's hope that we can use it to get an extra weapon slot, because I really do need it. All right, so, zoom all the way out, go all the way back here, and cash in our Korok seeds to Hestu. You'll be like, yeah, I love Korok seeds. And I'll be like, sure you do, buddy, sure you do. Okay, very cool. I'm just, I'm so glad, because I didn't know how much progress we'd make in today's episode. Thought it might be a little iffy trying to figure out what to do next before we head over to Ganon. Just, you know, to continue that to-do list. I was worried we'd have to just sort of wait around for Blood Moon, because I'm definitely completing every shrine that I can, unless, like, I can't get to that one shrine before Ganon, but I don't know if that's the case. Well, let's go this way. Oh, it always gets like here. I'm going the wrong way. Hestu, you must dance, and I must give you things to dance about. Okay, so weapon stash. 35 Korok seeds, you got it, here's my entire set. Wowie. Okay, so let the expansion begin. We've seen this dance so many times, I don't worry about it right now. Yeah. Okay, so we have an extra weapon slot. We can actually get two more. Somehow that's possible. Well, I'm glad to see it. Expand to ban ban, weapon stash, Akala. Awesome, so that means if we keep on saving up rupees, we'll be able to get more done with it. So. Couple of things still left on the massive to-do list, starting with going back over to this place and selling this guy some stuff. So I'm gonna probably try to do that and then save and then wait. And then, you know, I can could, I could only do like two or three of them a day. I can only sell them two or three of them. We got like 14. So it's gonna take a couple days, so I gotta make sure I'm saving often so that I don't miss a blood moon because that'll be a problem if that happens. So yeah, we'll get to it. See what ends up happening. And you know, from there, Hopefully good things. <laughs> Man, this is such a huge game. Like, I don't know how close we truly are to beating it. I mean, we were, we're close, but close is like, what, 10 more episodes, 15? I don't know. This is episode 81, which is crazy when you think about it. Okay, Mr. Dude, I need you to buy my stuff. Oh boy, don't fall. So yeah, this is definitely the place where he usually resides. Outskirts stable. And here he is. Hi, Trot. Thanks to you, I'm feeling better. Good. Have some meat. 100 rupees still good? Of course it is. There's one of them. Silver rupee. So that's 2927. Talk to you again. Have some meat. 100 rupees. This should definitely get us like 1400. If he, if he buys each one of them for 100, which he definitely should, it'll be definitely worth our while. So he can take at least three. That's good. Let's see how many more than that. I think it's just three. Uh, have some meat. I've had more than enough tonight. Okay, so let's not waste our time. Let us uh, say goodbye. We will save the game, just like this, and then go ahead and sleep by the fire until morning. Yep, because that way we know for a fact that he'll be able to take three more. And then do that again and again. Save the game, go at it, get 100 rupees, over and over. Yeah. I don't think we can get a blood moon if we sleep through the night, but I'm not actually entirely sure. <laughs> Have some meat, and just do this a couple more times. Because it'll take four attempts, or five attempts in total, to get to sell all of the meat. So, I've already gotten one down, and it doesn't take very long either. But yeah, like I said before, be sure, you know, you let me know which amiibo you want me to showcase next out of the, some of the ones I mentioned. And yeah, I like this one so far. You know, the one that gave me the sword. That's always good to have a couple extra swords here and there, so definitely worth my while. And then save before I do anything else. You know, if I'm low on a weapon, I know to scan that. And I'll probably, you know, as we move forward. Oh wow, it's not on fire right now. All right, I'll pay up. Actually, I'd really not want to. Uh, well, there's already, I can't just slice it. I think I need flint. Okay, we can get flint. Flint is less expensive to me than uh, sleeping at night, so. 
try to find that, put it down, hold, and then start the fire. And then sit until morning. Good. Already saved, so it's not that big of a deal. If there is a blood moon, which I don't think there will be, pretty sure that if you sleep through a night, you won't wake up to a blood moon or anything. I think a blood moon can't really happen in a, during the day either. Hey there, buddy. All right, do you again. Let's get ourselves another 300 rupees. Thank you. Silver, so like this guy, he has so much money. Where do you think he gets his money from? This is like his life savings just to eat good food. I mean, hey, if it makes you happy, more power to you. But it feels like a, a pretty, uh, you know, a, a want more than a need, I guess you could say. How many do we have left? Probably two more, I think, two more rounds. Uh, Let's take a look. We have five left, yeah, so I'll give him three in the next day, and then another three, or another two, the day after, and then we'll be good. See, that only took like three minutes. Really not that bad. So sit at the fire until morning again, and wake up. Morning, Link. As like I imagine, it's like, Ganon's is sitting in his fortress, just tapping his foot like, where is he by now? He should be here. He's like a couple months late. I'm just sitting here selling meat over and over again. I just sort of sit by the fire and I just chill out. I'm having fun. <laughs> Sorry, Ganon, I was having fun. You never want me to have fun. Okay, so 100 more rupees. So we're gonna break 4,000. Very good. Was that two or three? I think that was two. So let me go ahead and try to give him one more. Have some meat. Yes, very good. So that's 4,027 rupees, I think. Ooh. Yeah, 4,027. So we should be good to just, wait, 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 let's save. Don't wanna make the mistake now. And then we could actually go buy and go back and buy more ancient stuff if we wanted to. It wouldn't really be that bad of an idea. All right, let's see what happens. Nope, nothing. That's fine. So, uh, one more time. Thanks to you, I'm feeling better. Sell you two more pieces of meat, and that will be 1,400 rupees gained. Very cool. And then there's other stuff we can sell to make major cash. I just don't know if I'll need it for anything, like more crafting maybe. I don't know if you need ores too much for crafting. But you know what, we should probably do that now, too. I, this episode's gonna become a little long, but I'm just sort of checking off the to-do list, you know? I wanted to do what? I wanted to go back here. And I think there was maybe even something else we wanted to do, but I mean, now that we got the Korok seeds and we got the extra weapon slot, I could go and get some more ancient gear, but I'd rather spend the rest of today's episode, which I'm already going over time, upgrading the ancient tech gear that we already have. That would be perfect to me. So I'm gonna try that. But that's where the majority of our money is gonna go right now is getting all the ancient gear, either it be protective or offensive. That'll be good. I already have like a couple of ancient arrows that I never used. A lot of people told me to hold on to them forever or at least until the final battle. And then I never really got any more in the wild. I don't know if you we were supposed to be able to. Okay, so. Uh, where is the fairy? Right over here. All right, fairy, I gotta talk to you. Got a conversation to have with you. About upgrading my, my gear. And that'll be nice. The good thing about armor is that it never wears away. I'm not really appreciate about it. Pick up some amaranths. I don't really need amaranths, but it's good to get them while they're here. Not really too many fairies around here right now. Usually there is. All right, hello. And here. <laughs> Hi. Yes, we've come again. So uh, I can enhance your clothing to the max. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this. It needs Ancient Greaves, Ancient Screw, and Ancient Spring. Very good, because we have that stuff. So go ahead and work on this. Work on the Greaves for now, because why not? And this the big thing about this is it gives us extra defense, which we need, because we're gonna be wearing this stuff quite often, so it went from four to seven. Um, some sets that you enhance. Oh, so we, yeah, I guess if we enhance everything, we can get even stronger uh, set bonuses, I think. Um, so the Ancient Curious, sort of the same thing. Very tame amount of screws and springs, so let's go ahead and put that in. Of course, the higher stars we get, the more crazy this will get, so we'll keep pushing with it, and we'll just try to make these as high as possible. Luckily, they don't require monster parts, so we can actually upgrade some other stuff, too, without it being too much of a worry. I mean, some of it's tough. We need a Shard of Ferocious Horn, two of them, no less. That's not gonna be easy, um, but it would be worth doing eventually. I mean, it would be cool or fun to do. I don't know if we really need to do it, but, uh, Right now, let's go ahead and get this ancient helm upgraded. 
And there we go, Ancient Helm. There we go. Any other clothing items you want me to work on, enhance away. So let's go ahead and organize our inventory again. I sort of got disorganized with that. This is also, Diamond Circlet's also Guardian Resist on up for some reason. Don't really know why, but cool. Now it's a sort of more obscure stuff, or actually, no, it's not more obscure stuff. It's just more expensive. So like 10 of each of the Ancient Gear, it's actually, yeah, the same price for all three. So if it asks for any more Ancient Gear after this, we won't be able to afford it. We won't have enough Ancient Gear. So we'll have to start buying more of those or finding more of them. I mean, like I said before, I already plan on trudging through uh, Hyrule Castle and that yard in front of it like we have in the past to earn up more stuff anyways. If we can get some more stuff that way, it's perfect. So there is that one done. Now we can get this. Gotcha. We've been earning this stuff up for so long. It's sort of sad to see it go, but it's worth it. Totally, totally worth it. There we go. Enhance away. So let's do the pants. Ancient pants. There we go. So now we are going to uh, reorganize again because I think we can get three stars or four. Enhance away. It's four stars. So we probably won't be able to afford all of it. Yeah, like, look at this. So I will only be able to upgrade one of these for now, and then the other ones I'll have to wait because I need six more ancient cores to properly upgrade them more. So probably the Curious is the best one I could choose, even though they're all the same, it doesn't really matter too much. But let's just go ahead and upgrade the Ancient Curious and see what ends up happening. <laughs> no! Okay, um, but yeah, that's the extent what we can do with the Ancient Gear. But that's 18 protection. That's not as protective as our, this stuff, for example. I need more Lionel Guts. Ooh, that's expensive. But I mean, that's really the stuff I need to use. Like this other stuff, yeah, it's great, but it's, it's not necessary. I can't upgrade this stuff. No, I can, I'll just need more Rush Rooms. Except for this, Hightail Lizards. Okay, well that's pretty cool. I think we'll leave it at that then. Of course, we could go to the Fang and Bone, get some stuff that way, but I think that's how we're gonna leave it for now. And we'll try to earn more stuff up, defeat more Guardians, and do everything else in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Climbing Zebra, so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.